All right, I cannot see very well in the sun right here directly on you or on me. So um, setting myself up so that you can see my yoga mat, myself, and this beautiful outdoor weather here in Paulsville, Washington. Oh, no, oh, there we go. Uh, my name's Ashley. I, I think in time the sun will come up, so you'll see my head maybe in the shade, but just listen to my verbal cues and you'll be just fine. So today we're doing an Ashtanga variation of class, of practice, and we will start standing. So I, I am gonna move this just slightly. All these struggles with where to place the camera. There we go. So get yourself set up and we'll get going. We are gonna start standing. So stand up nice and tall and we'll start moving right away. So taking those hands to your heart. Okay, not right away, we've gotta get centered. Taking your hands to your heart, pressing down through the feet. We don't need any props in particular. If you have a couple blocks, sometimes they're nice. But I'll do this practice completely without equipment so that you can see some variations too. So ground down through the toes. Find a softness yet length through the body. Start to breathe a little deeper, ujjayi pranayama, slight constriction in the back of the throat. And we'll start with our sun salutation A. So as we inhale, take the hands down, inhale, reach up. Exhale, open the arms, forward fold, diving down. Might bend the knees for this first one. Lift up halfway, hands press on the shins, look forward. Exhale as you plant the hands down. Maybe for this first one, let's just step back to plank pose. Knees or no knees, hug the elbows to your rib cage as you lower to chaturanga. Upward dog, press the heart forward, lifting the knees or keeping them down. As you exhale, let's make our way to down dog, lifting the hips up and back, flipping over the toes. And we stay here for five breaths. At any time that our down dog five breath holds become a little bit too much for the breath or the body, you can come back to child's pose and sit back for a little while. Otherwise, we're staying in down dog. There's two breaths. Three. Press down through thumb and index finger. Four. And five. Let's step or jump forward at the top end of the breath. Half lift. Inhale. Forward fold. Exhale. Rise up. Inhale. Look forward. Arms out. Lift up. Hands come down to your heart. Do that again. Inhale, reach out and up. Connect the hands, little back bend at the top. Exhale, forward fold, diving down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step or jump back, lowering to chaturanga right away. Upward facing dog, inhale. And downward facing dog, exhale. Five breaths. Find peace in this downward facing dog. One, two, three, full belly breaths, four, Five, step or hop forward. Do your half lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, open up, reach up. Hands come down to your heart or to your side. Samasitihi, stand at attention. Hands down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward dog. 
Make sure that those feet are hip distance, pressing down through the fingertips. There's one. Two. Three. Four. And five, that finishes number three for us on Salutation A. Half lift, forward fold, rising up, little bend in the knees if that helps your back. And exhale, let it go. Number four, inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive down. Hands on the ground, inhale, half lift, fingers on the floor or hands on shins. Exhale, hands to the floor, step or hop back, chaturanga. Shift forward, look forward as you lower. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog. Let's lift those hips up back. Down dog for five. One. Two. Three, hug those elbows in, shoulders away from the ears. Was that three? Let's do two more breaths. Four. Five, step or hop forward. Half lift, exhale down. Inhale, rise, and let it go. Last sun salutation, A. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant the hands, step or hop, lower to chaturanga. Inhale, urdhva mukha svanasana, that's up dog. Exhale to Adho Mukha Svanasana, Downward Facing Dog. Five breaths. One. Two. Try to get those hips up and back. Feel the hamstrings come alive. Three. Four. And five, step or hop forward. Look forward for your half lift. Exhale down, nose to knees. Inhale, rising tall, reach up. And let it go, mountain pose. Sun salutation B, we, we're gonna do all five of them, all right? All right, it's a deal, let's go. Bend the knees, sit back, chair pose, inhale. Exhale, hands through the heart as you fold forward. Half lift, this first one will be a little slower. Exhale, step or hop back, lower to chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Now here's where we take an extra breath in, deep inhale. Step the right foot forward between the hands, low lunge. Back heel spins down. Open up those arms and reach up for warrior one. Connect the hands at the top, hold it there. Exhale, bend a little deeper. Inhale, reach higher, press the hand. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back, plank pose. Pause there because we can. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. We'll do the other side. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pause here, deep inhale. Exhale, step the left foot between the hands, or that direction. Back heel descends, seal the blade of the back foot, rise up, warrior one, pause. Take another inhale, reaching up, pressing the palms. Exhale, hands come down. Back foot, left foot steps back, plank, hold it. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, inhale downward facing dog. And you can definitely take your time. 
with those lunges because we'll meet back and down dog for five breaths each time. So if next time we go through it, it's a little bit too quick for you, just take your time and meet us back and down dog for maybe just three breaths. Two more deep breaths. Allow this to become a resting pose in time. At the end of that breath, step or hop forward. Half lift, forward fold. Chair pose, sit back, bend the knees, Utkatasana, reach up. And let it go, standing tall. Sun salutation B, round two. Bend the knees, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift, inhale. Step or hop back, chaturanga, elbows to your rib cage. Inhale, lift to upward facing dog. Down dog, exhale. Continue exhaling as you step the right foot forward a little faster. Back heel down, one breath to rise, warrior one. Exhale to the ground, then chaturanga. Inhale, lift that heart up dog. Downward dog, exhale. Left foot steps forward. Back heel descends, rise up, feel the hips, feel the strength of the legs and the body. Exhale to the ground, step back, chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. Hips up high, downward dog, exhale. Five breaths, or meet us here. One. Two. Three. Four, and five. Take it forward, step or hop to the top of the mat. Half lift, forward fold, exhale. Rising up, inhale, reach up. Oh, bend the knees, sit back, chair pose, my bad. And then release it, let it go. Do it again. Round three, reach up, bend the knees, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift, inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale. Right foot forward, warrior one, inhale, rise up. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward dog, inhale, <laughs> down dog, exhale. Step the left foot forward, warrior one, reach up. Exhale to the ground, step back, chaturanga. Again, take your time. Lift the heart up, dog. Downward facing dog, exhale. Five breaths. One. Two. Three. Four, five, let's take it forward, half lift, inhale, forward fold, exhale, bent knees, chair pose, Utkatasana, reach up, and release, round four, <laughs> bend the knees, sit back, chair pose, exhale, forward fold, Lengthen, inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, hips up, down dog. Step the right foot forward. As you get there, back heel down, warrior one. Exhale to the ground, step back, chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale, left foot forward. Warrior one. Hands to the ground. Step back, lower. Up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Five breaths. Hopefully by now we're getting pretty warm. If the sun's not shining on you, then your breath is heating you and your movements. 
two. Three. Four. And five, step or hop forward. Half lift, forward fold. Rising up, bend the knees, chair pose. And release. One more sun salutation B to finish our warm up. Bent knees, chair pose, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Down dog, stepping that right foot forward once you get there. Warrior one. Hands to the ground, exhale. Chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. Down and facing dog, exhale, left foot forward. Warrior one. These birds are so loud. <laughs> and hands down to the floor, exhale, step back. Chaturanga. But it's delightful, I would rather have the birds than not. Exhale to downward dog. Last five breath holds for our down dog. One. Two. Three. Four, guess what, that's five. Step or hop forward. Half lift, forward fold, end in chair pose, sit back, reach up, then release. Look at that, sun salutations. I believe we should do 10 of them every day. And if that's all you get through each day for our yoga practice, you'd still get way strong from that. So sun salutations are a great base. Take your hands on your hips, jump your feet about hip distance apart, toes straight forward, number 11 in the feet. Deep breath in, roll the shoulders back. And as you exhale, hook onto your big toes with your index finger and your peace sign fingers. Take an inhale, half lift again. Exhale, bend the elbows and pull down and through. Spread the feet apart, not actually, but pressing through the blades of the feet and using your biceps to pull down. If you need a little bend in the knees, it's very helpful. Otherwise, keep trying to straighten to activate the hamstrings, lengthen out the back. Nose between the knees, lift up halfway, inhale. Exhale, slide the hands, tops of the hands underneath the feet so you're stepping on the wrist. This is a good little wrist release after all those down dogs. Pull but down again, bending the elbows. Most of these poses we try to hold for five breaths, but it might be a little more, a little less. Good, lifting halfway, inhale. Pause, little bend, hands on the hips, exhale. With a flat back, rise up, inhale, and jump the feet together. Now I'm gonna switch, for me, I'm gonna switch to this side so you can see the uh, stepping transitions, but this is now the front of my mat, okay? Great. So you take your right leg, step back, open up wide, turn the right toes to the back of the mat, left heel far, straight legs, reach long, triangle pose, so right hand slides down the leg. Now if I look opposite to you, listen to my cues, it's the right leg that's going to step back. We start on our right side. Look up, hand can be anywhere down the leg. As you roll the rib cage open, stack the shoulders, Lengthen through both the right and left sides of the body. And we switch it. A little bend in the knee to help you rise. At least that helps me. Pivot to the front of the mat, left toes towards the front, reach long. And then slide that left hand down, right arm reaches up. Wow, that's bright, but that's all right. So you keep breathing. If you need to close your eyes, close your eyes. It's just gonna be more tough for balance. If the sun's in your eyes or if your neck is bothering you, then look down. 
towards the left hand. Fingertips together, keeping those energy lines connected. Blade hands. Rising up, we'll head to a twist. Bending in that left knee, rise up. Turn back to the back of the mat. Left hand reaching. You're going to adjust so that the hips are more towards the back. So move the feet as needed. Reach long with that left hand. It comes down on the inside or outside of the foot. As you turn the torso, reach up with the right hand into the twist. Try to get the hips, keep the hips in the middle of the leg so they don't bump to the side. Twisted lunge or revolved lunge. And then switch sides, rise up. Little windmill of the arms, switch sides, adjust the feet. Get those hips, you can even take a couple extra breaths here to set up. Right hand reaches towards the front of the mat. Take it down to the floor or foot as you twist to the left. Straight legs though, both legs straight. Good, bending into that front knee again, rise up, open up, and we'll step to the top of the mat just to reset. <sighs> right leg goes back, open wide, take a little wider stance, turn the right toes to the back, bend the knee, reach long, right hand to the outside of the leg, left arm extended, or you could take elbow to thigh, or hand to outside, the Ishtanga way. Keep the fingertips together, look up towards the left hand, If you can press the right palm onto the floor, do that. Palm faces down, so internal rotation of the hands. Switching sides, rise up, inhale. You can use your hand to help you up. Switch, bend the left knee, reach long, and we've got side angle, other side. rising back up lift up you get to turn back to the back of our mat again take the left knee down we'll twist we're gonna start with a kneeling lunge twist then head to our a um, little bit other variations if you'd like so left elbow goes across the knee hands pressed together in a prayer position you can stay with this kneeling twist tuck the back toes and lift the knee or snuggle a little bit closer, elbow or shoulder to knee and open up the arms. Breathe even deeper here in the twist. Good, rising up, lift up, take your time. Switch sides. Other knee down. You can hook or press the elbow or tr tricep or shoulder onto that knee. Start with a twist, just working into the lower waist and then spiraling up the body until you look up past the left shoulder. You can lift the knee and or open the arms. Keep the hips low, gaze high. All right, rise up, lift up, reach up. Step to the top of your mat. <sighs> Okay, we're gonna take that right leg out again. 
just a little time to reset here. Set that right leg out. We've got forward fold. So wide leg forward fold, toes point to the long edge of the mat, not out, a little bit in towards one another. Open up those arms, hands on the hips, exhale. Roll the shoulders back, inhale, look up. And we fold down, hands come down to the floor like chaturanga style hands. Shift your weight into the toes and the heels, both equally. Take a half lift, inhale. Exhale, forehead down towards the floor. This is where sometimes blocks are nice, higher from the floor. Lifting up halfway, inhale, exhale, pause. A little bend in the knees, hands on the hips. Inhale, rise, exhale, pause. Open those arms, reaching long. Exhale, hands to your waist, draw the shoulders back, chest lifts, inhale. Keep the hands where they are as you exhale, fold down. Hands stay on the hips or the waist, elbows squeeze back behind you. And then rise up, inhale as you do so. Exhale, pause in your standing pose. Inhale, open the arms. Exhale, hands interlace, fingers behind your back, press the palms together, look up, inhale. Exhale, fold it down. Hands wrapping towards the sky or the front of where you are. Okay, rise up, release, hands on the hips. Reach, or no reaching, take an inhale. Look up, exhale, interlace, or grab the big toes with your peace sign fingers again, and pull down. Our last one. So you might feel this on like the outsides of your ankles and different areas, little muscles that we don't tend to work a ton until we start doing more and more yoga practice. So as long as we're able to breathe deeply through the mild discomfort, you're in a good place. Stay there, focus on the breath. Okay, hands on the floor, lift halfway, inhale. Exhale, hands on the hips. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, step forward. Whew. One more, and we've got some balance poses too. So pyramid pose. We'll step our right foot back again. Turn towards the back of the mat. Hands behind your back, either reverse prayer or grabbing the, grab, knocking the fists together, grabbing the wrists. So elbows press back, lift the heart. Exhale, hinge at the hips over that right leg. Straight legs. Pyramid pose, shorter stance. The legs are scissoring in together. So pulling the right hip back, left forward. Good. And rise up, switch sides. Exhale over to the left leg. Okay, lift up, take an inhale, release the hands, shake them out a little bit. Good. Just got a little bit dizzy, step to the top of the mat and pause there, give it a little shake out. So you're gonna do some balance poses, okay? Yay, balance pose. So the left foot stays down. Do this together, left foot stays down. You can take your right knee up, we can hook the big toes with your peace sign fingers again. 
lengthen, kick the heel out, lift nice and tall, left hand on the hip. Then as you exhale, lean forward, try to pull your nose up to your knee, your knee up to your nose. All right, lifting back up, take an inhale. Exhale, open that right leg out to the side. Look over the left shoulder. <laughs> it's a lot more challenging with things moving around outside. <sighs> so if you can, take that leg out to the side or do what works for you. Back to the center. One more time, try to get the nose to the knees. Stand up tall, pause. Release the toes, point the toes forward. Lift the leg and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. I suppose having a stable drishti would help. So if you have a point of focus to gaze, it does help. All right, other side. So you grab the knee or the big toe, extend the leg. Straight leg, deep breath in. Exhale, knee to nose. Nose to knee. And then rising up, a little lift out to the side, goes our leg, keep the right hand on the hip, and gaze goes over the right shoulder. Back to the center, and the knee to nose. Lift back up, release the toes, point the toes, hold. Three, two, one. One more balance pose and we're gonna head back down. So you take our right ankle over the left knee, either figure four, this might be good. You stay here, hands at heart, feeling the hip, or take that right foot, lay to the foot into the crease where the femur meets the hip. Knee points down. Right hand goes around and you hook the big toe, maybe, or grab the arm. And we'll maybe also add a fold. So all these are options, not required. Some days I'm down, some days I'm not. All right, rise back up. Let that go, we'll switch sides. <laughs> This is what we're doing, work and balance. So if you fall over, that's okay. It's a sign that we're finding our edge, our limit. Saturday morning also is a tough time sometimes. I think I can say that about any day though. <laughs> All right, take the other side. So you can do that figure four again, or the half lotus with the toe grab, bind. Fold or no fold. This side is about 10 times easier for me. That's just the way my body works. So honor the sides. <laughs> we do not have to be exact from side to side. Just make sure that you stretch both sides equally. Not the same, but equal stretch. Okay, rising up out of that. Let's get, let's get out of those. Let go of those. Come back to the top of your mat. This will be the top of my mat this time. Top of the mat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift. Inhale. Step or jump back. Plank pose. Chaturanga. Up dog. Inhale. Downward facing dog as you exhale. Jump forward again. Step forward or jump forward. Feet together. Knees bent. Sit back. Chair pose. Reach up. Connect the hands. 
hold this one. Look up towards the hands, towards the thumbs, and draw the shoulders down. Good, let's take a forward fold, exhale. Half lift, inhale. One more vinyasa, sun salutation. Come back or step back, chaturanga, lift up dog, down and facing dog. Step the right foot forward, warrior one. Reach up, connect those hands, pause. Look up, bend that front knee, back heel down. Feel the blade of the foot, the outside edge. Soften the shoulders. And keep breathing. Switch sides, straighten that front leg, keep looking up as you pivot to the back of the mat. Hands come down to your heart to begin with. We'll turn the hips open, adjust the feet, maybe step them wider or front heel in line with the back arch. Open the arms, warrior two, gazing over left fingertips. Good, and switch sides, straighten the left leg, pivot to the back of the mat. or the front, whichever it was. Keep your gaze directly over the right fingertips. Soften the shoulders. Breathe in deep, steady, slow breath. Our next transition, we can get into doing a handstand or you can just step back and go through a vinyasa flow. So take your pick. Reach forward, hands down in front of the right toes. Maybe lift up, handstand, or no. Couple kick ups. And then find that plank, chaturanga, up dog and down dog. Right, good, good. Okay, take your knees down, sit back, child's pose. That was our standing series, that was full standing series of the Ashtanga um, practice. So now we have a few seated poses, not the exact series, but a few seated poses before we come down to relax. So let's just roll yourself up to seated on your heels and swing the legs around. All right, swing the legs around, awesome. Yes, good. <laughs> Take the legs forward out in front of you. Straight forward, let's roll the inner thighs in together. Lift up nice and tall. Press the palms down, shoulders back. Staff pose, Dandasana. Extend through the heels. Maybe lift the heels as you press the knees down. Gentle tuck of the chin. And imagine someone pulling a string from the top of your head up towards the sky. and then reach your hands up, inhale. Keep the length in the body, exhale, hinge forward, reaching towards the toes. And we'll just do um, one forward fold today where grabbing anywhere on the toes and we'll hold a little longer. You can hook the big toes, grab around, legs. So it doesn't have to be perfectly straight here. If you wanna get the hamstrings, that's fine. If you want a little stretch for the back, a little round is okay. Just try to keep getting the nose towards the toes. Good, release from that pose. Take your hands behind you. Bent knees if your knees are bothering you. Otherwise, straight legs. Point the toes, reverse plank. Press down into the hands. Lift the hips. Look up. Get the big toes to touch the floor and use the back of the body for straight as you open the heart and chest. <clears throat> And 
and lower down. Nice. Let's take the right foot in. Oh, right foot in? Yes, right foot in with the knee out to the side. Turn over that left leg, a straight left leg. Reach up, fold forward over that left leg. Draw Nusrasana or head to knee pose. You don't need to get your head to your knee though. If I turn to the side, just notice this and the leg is out at about a 85 degree angle or so. Foot resting on the inner thigh. <clears throat> You'd rise up and switch sides. Other side. Reach up. Hinge forward over that right leg. Lift back up, take an inhale. Switch sides again, left leg extended, right foot um, into the inner thigh. So not across, we're gonna go on the inside. We're gonna do a twist, so we lift up tall. You can hug that right knee with your left arm and look over, or take that left arm up, elbow hooks around. Press the right hand into the, the ground and look behind the right shoulder. Seated twist. And reset, come out of it, switch sides. Right leg extended, left foot to the inner thigh. Right arm up, you can hug or take that elbow over the knee, hook it, look back over left shoulder. There's a bind option as well here around the leg. Um, I'm not doing that today, but you are welcome to take that option. That extended leg, make sure that you're still pressing through the heel, so we're still getting a good long um, extension through the right foot, right leg. We're still very active. It's not a relaxing pose. Well, it can be in time, feel relaxing, but it's a very active engagement of the body. I wish I could see everybody. It's too bright out here. All right, bring it back to the center. We've got one more pose before we'll take vinyasa and head down to our backs. And our pose that we've got is Five boat poses. I know it's Judy's favorite. So we're gonna lean back, lift up the legs. You can extend them, extend them or keep them bent. Lift the heart, reach forward. It's five times five. So five breaths, five times. And we do a little pickup in between. And that first, this one is about five. Let's cross the ankles. The only time you get to cross the ankles here. Pull the knees in. Toes can be down. Press down to the hands. Maybe lift. Sit back down. Go five breaths. Or five counts. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Let's cross the opposite ankle. Pull in. Lift up. Switch and do it once more. Actually, three more times. This is number three, five, four, chest up, shoulders back, three, two, one, pick up or press. Number four, five, four, three, two, one, hug it in, press, lift, last one. Five, four, three, two, and one. This time, roll forward, step or hop back, chaturanga. Up dog and pause in the up dog for a minute. Okay, not a minute, a couple breaths. Maybe rock the hips side to side. Widen the legs. 
downward facing dog. Coming down to our back, you're gonna jump through the hands or walk the feet forward, sit down. And then roll to your back. Feet about hip distance apart, palms pressed down. Let's start with bridge pose. Lift the hips, squeeze the shoulders. Keep the toes pointed forward, knees over the ankles or, or behind the ankles. We have three back bends. The next two, you can stay with the same variation or a version of bridge pose or head up to wheel pose or Urdhva Dhanurasana with me. Release this, take a little break, whatever is neutralizing to your body. All right, let's switch it. So let's try again. Let's do that again, either bridge pose or hands underneath the shoulders, elbows to the sky, press into the feet and rise, straightening the hands, the arms and the legs, pressing the heart back. You're trying to straighten the legs even more. So no bent knees, at least trying to straighten. This is a fun perspective. All right, we'll lower back down. Again, take a neutralizing rest for a few breaths. Do one more back bend. All right, bridge pose or wheel pose. Let's head up again. Press into the hands and the feet. Lift. Lower back down. Good, hug your knees in towards your chest. Give a little rock side to side. Legs in will go straight up. Straight up and pause. So we get to head into our inversion. And for some, some of us, uh, legs up the wall is fine. If our backs and necks are feeling okay, and we'd like to try shoulder stance, then press into the elbows, lift the hips, hands to low back, and lengthen the legs towards the sky. Try to stack the hips over the shoulders and heels over the hips for a straight line, making sure there's always space between your neck and the floor. Hug those elbows in a bit more to help ground you and stabilize you, and press into the elbows and triceps actively. And let's take those feet way behind if you're in shoulder stand to plow pose. Or you can try plow pose from legs up the wall. Hands interlace behind you if the toes touch down. Point the toes. Last big back stretch. Take a forward fold, but upside down. Straighten the legs, press through the knees, the backs of the knees. Then bend your knees around your ears. Get comfortable, cozy, ear pinning pose or a deaf person's pose. Release however feels comfortable and right for you. So release your hands, maybe on your back or to the ground to lower down out of this. Extending the legs, lift up onto the elbows and the forearms. So we add a little lift of the heart here for fish pose. So take the gaze up, press into the elbows, 
as you, if and as you move the elbows forward, you might get the head down towards the floor. Keep pressing into the elbows and, and hands. This is the back of the head that's on the ground, not the top of the head. We don't want to compromise the neck. All right, release slowly down. Hug the knees in. We're gonna roll ourselves up to a seated pose to finish with our finishing postures. Finishing postures. So crossing those legs wherever comfortable. You might find lotus, half lotus, or just a simple seated pose. Hands behind the back, grabbing the elbows or the wrists, or if you can hook onto the toes, that's there for you too. And then we lean forward. Keep your eyes open, gazing down towards the ground. And then sit upright, take the backs of the wrists to the knees as your index finger and thumb join together and the three rest of the fingers press forward. Palms up, eyes still open. Looking down, gazing down, gentle tuck of the chin and sit a little taller. Our last finishing posture of the seated, this seated three-part series. With or without lotus legs. Lotus legs is easier. It's a, it's a challenging pose. It's a pickup. It's a lift off. So we take our hands right in between the thighs. Lean forward. Lift with your core. Lift through your core to lift your legs and body off the ground as you press. You can gaze forward, slightly forward. And if we're not lifted off the ground, just sit here and press into the floor and to activate and lift Mula Bandha and Uddiyana Bandha. Knees up. It's supposed to be 10 breaths. Let's do three more. Three, two, and one. Sit down. Hopefully you're at the top of the mat. We get to do one more vinyasa and then it's Shavasana time. So if your legs are crossed, roll forward, elbows hug the rib cage, extend the legs, chaturanga, up dog, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale. And from here, take the feet down, knees down, sit onto the side, and we lay back for Shavasana. Get a little suntan here, and I may end up in a seated meditation instead, but you can lie back and we'll be here for about four to five minutes just to allow our bodies to absorb, and I will turn the microphone off as well for these next few minutes.
And start to tune in again to the sounds of the birds, the sounds of my voice, and the sounds of your breath. Take a deep inhale and a slow exhale. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Take a long stretching reach back with your hands, forward with your toes, a wake up stretch. Then roll to your side, bending your knees, using one arm as a pillow. Pause in that moment. And then gently press back up to a seated pose. Nice and tall, comfortable, taller than when we began. And in concluding together, reach those hands up at the top. Connect the hands and bring them down to your heart. That seals in our practice, our time together. Thank you so much for joining and have a lovely, wonderful, beautiful Saturday. Namaste.